Our world is full of mysteries, which sometimes even scientists cannot solve. Nature is as majestic as it is dangerous. Thanks to the achievements of modern science, people are able to control many processes in this world. Nevertheless, due to natural disasters, many countries suffer billions of dollars annually, not to mention how many people become victims of the elements. Today I will show you the most amazing moments ever recorded. Here are top 15 most dangerous and unexplained videos natural phenomena in the world. Before we continue don't forget to hit that like button also subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Let's begin. <laughs> Lightning striking hits river. Mother Nature serves up all kinds of spectacular visuals. The video was posted with a caption that reads lightning strikes a river and could plainly see that the so-called lightning strike comes from a nearby hill and not the sky. A quick search of YouTube reveals the video was actually posted by a construction company in Finland with a published date of December 20, 2012. The footage documents a project that involved widening a channel with a large explosive charge. The camera is set up next to a moving body of water. There's a flash and suddenly the water rises in an incredible explosion. As aquatic action it is undoubtedly thrilling, better than Speed 2, but maybe not quite as terrific as Water World. But is it real? And does it show what people claim? So there you have it. The post claiming to capture an amazing natural phenomena. Florida's Freezing Falling Lizards During a cold snap in southern Florida in January 2020, residents were warned to watch out for paralyzed lizards falling from trees. The lowest temperatures in a decade stunned and immobilized the lizards, causing them to lose their grip from their usually safe perches in trees. Comatose lizards littering the sidewalk might have been annoying for residents. For scientists, however, it was a unique opportunity to understand how the lizards, many of which are native to the region, are affected by extreme climate events. It turns out these reptiles are more adaptable to extreme temperatures than the researchers had thought. When air temperatures drop below a critical limit, lizards lose the ability to move. Most commonly, the lowest daily temperatures occur at night, while many diurnal, day-active, lizards are asleep, as many diurnal lizards typically sleep above the ground, perched safely in and among leaves and branches, they may lose their grip if temperatures drop below this critical functioning limit. The January cold snap wasn't the first time Floridians have faced lizards dropping out of trees. It can happen anytime the temperature gets below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The researchers took the lizards back to the lab at the University of Miami and individually cooled the animals until each one was too cold to respond to a gentle prod on its back limb. The lizard community, the researchers discovered, had responded in an unexpected way to the cold snap. Frozen lizard. <coughs> All of them could withstand cold temperatures down to about 42 degrees Fahrenheit, regardless of their previous ability to tolerate cold. Purple pattern in the sky. Fortunately, not all natural phenomena are dangerous, take a look at this purple pattern in the sky. This just beautiful, but since people couldn't explain how it was formed. Many were scared even by these clouds over, how this video appeared on the net. Some began to write in the comments, that this could be a harbinger of the end light. Here is another cloud which scared the inhabitants of Rio de Janeiro. Many felt that it looked ominous, and with it's hard to disagree with them. No one could explain what led to his education, that day there was no storm. There ain't not a tornado at first glance, made it seem that there is nothing in these frames. Usually amazing and sunny eclipse. But the fact is that the sun at this moment was on the other side sky. And therefore, people were seriously scared and did not understand what was happening in these clouds are very similar to the real one. It looks like stairs to heaven like someone is about to have to descend from heaven to our sinful earth. People watched the art. And in waiting, but didn't wait for anyone the stairs disappeared as suddenly as. 2014, Russian hailstorm. A sudden hailstorm in Siberia left beachgoers in Novosibirsk, desperately seeking cover, and claimed the lives of two young children in a nearby town. The footage filmed in the eastern city of Novosibirsk shows sunbathers and swimmers fleeing their towels and the water to seek shelter from the freak storm, which saw the wind whip up and temperatures suddenly drop from 41 to 21 degrees. A large number of people can be seen enjoying themselves on the bank of the river Ob when the ice balls come hurtling. The investigative committee said in a statement that two young girls aged three and four had been passed away in the lakeside town of Bretsk. The two girls ended after sustaining traumatic brain injuries when a tree fell on their tent where they were taking shelter from the storm along with their families. Weather has been unusually extreme across much of Russia this summer, with snow hitting parts of central Russia that rarely see freezing temperatures in summer. While the region's residents can expect warmer weather in the short term, temperatures may cool again in the second half of the week. Rare Clouds Formation Just take a look at these clouds. This rare phenomenon can be seen only in one place on the planet in Cape York Peninsula, in northern Australia. 
RL cloud is a low, horizontal, tube-shaped, and relatively rare type of Arcus cloud. They differ from shelf clouds by being completely detached from other cloud features. Row clouds usually appear to be rolling about a horizontal axis. They are a solitary wave called a soliton, which is a wave that has a single crest and moves without changing speed or shape. These extraordinarily beautiful clouds have very romantic name, Morning Glory could in Queensland. However, similar features can be created by downdrafts from thunderstorms and are not exclusively associated with coastal regions. Most Powerful Tornado 20 years ago, one of the most notorious and fatal tornadoes in state history tore through parts of the Oklahoma City metro area. Most powerful tornado outbreak that hit 44 people and destroyed more than 3,000 homes in Oklahoma. On May 3, 1999, 72 tornadoes spawned in central Oklahoma, becoming the largest and most destructive tornado outbreak in Oklahoma history. The largest tornado was an F5 that developed near Chukasha. Continuing into the fourth before a break in additional tornadoes, 114 twisters occurred in this part of a sequence during the week. The F5 tornado left a more than 30-mile-long path of destruction that can still be seen today. With winds of more than 300 miles per hour recorded by a Doppler on Wheels radar research team, the 1999 Moore tornado also had the highest wind speeds ever recorded on Earth. More than 100 city blocks on the west and north sides of the city were destroyed. The National Severe Storms Lab says it caused over $1 billion in damage. Spiders rain. Forget cats and dogs, it was raining spiders recently in southern Australia, according to local news reports. Millions of spiders dropped from the sky in the southern Tablelands region, blanketing the countryside with their webs. Though many news reports have called them babies, the spiders are actually just very very small adults called sheet web weavers or money spiders. It's unclear what spurs these spiders take to the skies in what are called mass ballooning events. The town was transformed into one big web-covered haunted house as Black Baby Ocean. On humid nights, these spiders work together to weave giant webs spanning dozens of feet and reaching from tree to tree. Commonly known as spider rain or angel hair isn't uncommon across parts of Australia. In this video, the spiders aren't really falling from the sky, so much as hanging out there, waiting for prey. Volcano eruption. A thick cloud of smoke formed in volcanic eruption spectacle in itself was impressive. But when in a cloud of smoke began to flicker lightning flashes, it was easy fantastic. A photographer captured some stunning footage of Mount Etna erupting. <laughs> Fatal Water Spouse Water spouts fall into two categories, fair weather water spouts and tornadic water spouts. Tornadic water spouts are tornadoes that form over water or move from land to water. They have the same characteristics as a land tornado. They are associated with severe thunderstorms and are often accompanied by high winds and seas, large hail, and frequent dangerous lightning. Fair weather water spouts usually form along the dark flat base of a line of developing cumulus clouds. This type of water spout is generally not associated with thunderstorms. While tornadic water spouts develop downward in a thunderstorm, a fair weather water spout develops on the surface of the water and works its way upward. By the time the funnel is visible, a fair weather water spout is near maturity. Fair weather water spouts form in light wind conditions, so they normally move very little. If a water spout moves onshore, the National Weather Service issues a tornado warning, as some of them can cause significant damage and injuries to people. Typically, fair weather water spouts dissipate rapidly when they make landfall and rarely penetrate far inland. Landslides Another dangerous natural phenomenon is landslides, massive rocks rushing from the slope under the pressure of its own weight is sometimes hundreds of tons. And then the stream rushes to breakneck speed, destroying all structures in its path. Sometimes the mass is not so significant. In this case, landslides do not lead to destruction. Fire Tornado Fire tornadoes are rare atmospheric tornado events. They are also referred to as pyrogenetic tornadoes, which refers to the way in which they are formed, with a tornado string vortex much like a traditional tornado. The terminology can be confusing, and not even the experts always agree on the differences between these phenomena. This rare and terrifying phenomenon was only the second true fire tornado in recorded history, and the first witnessed in the United States. Wildfires have become an all-too-common phenomenon in California. The region's low humidity and scarce rainfall make it an environment ripe for blazes. 
In fact, much of the state should burn naturally every 50 to 100 years or so. But people have been building homes in these regions. So when a forest goes up in flames, so too can houses. In 2020 has reached into its bag of tricks again, and tossed out another surprise, this time in the form of a swirling fire. Or as meteorologists call it, a fire tornado. The rare and fiery tornado was spotted Saturday near fire in California. The National Weather Service office issued a tornado warning for a pyrocumulonimbus cloud that formed by the Loyalton fire, saying it was capable of producing a fire-induced tornado and outflow winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Floods But if the ship been created for that to float on water, then ordinary cars and all are not suitable for this. However, during a severe flood cars literally wash off the roads, see how many cars were there water. If there are people inside, then chances on their salvation are very small, but like this. It's just a terrible sight just imagine the damage natural disasters strange, where this happens often. Floods that have crippled much of Indonesia's capital worsened, inundating thousands of homes and buildings, including the presidential palace, and paralyzing transport networks in 2020. Siberian permafrost explosions a natural phenomenon first observed by scientists just six years ago and now recurring with alarming frequency in Siberia, is causing the ground to explode spontaneously and with tremendous force, leaving craters up to 100 feet deep. When Yevgeny Chuvalin, a Moscow-based geologist with the Skolkovo Institute of Science and Technology, arrived this summer at the rim of the latest blast site, called Crater 17, the pit plunged into darkness, surrounded by the table-flat featureless tundra. While initially a mystery, scientists have established that the craters appearing in the far north of western Siberia are caused by subterranean gases, and the recent flurry of explosions is possibly related to global warming. The conditions causing the explosions, which are still not fully understood, are probably specific to the geology of the area, as similar craters have not appeared elsewhere in Siberia or in permafrost zones in Canada and Alaska that are also affected by global warming. The explosions occur when the pressure rises or the ice layer thaws and breaks suddenly. The researchers also found that the craters are just one unsettling sign that the northernmost reaches of our planet are undergoing radical changes. Glaciers collapsing Absolutely all glaciers look very nice, and often tourists ask for guides swim closer to them to make nice pictures. But looking at these frames, I think you are fast you will understand why the guides always refuse glacier can collapse into. It's dangerous to approach him any moment. A glacier arch in Argentina has collapsed, but it's not due to climate change. The Perito Moreno Glacier in Argentina's Patagonia region is one of very few globally that grows rather than shrinks, but scientists say that overall the amount of glacial ice in the Patagonia region is decreasing. Devastating Ice Tsunamis It's been a rough winter for large swaths of North America. First, a polar vortex plunged much of the Midwest into dangerously frigid temperatures. More recently, a furious windstorm has been pummeling eastern Canada and United States, causing flight delays, school cancellations and thousands of power outages. Along the shores of Lake Erie, the gusts were so strong that blocks of ice surged over the shoreline and formed walls as high as 30 feet, a striking phenomenon known as an ice tsunami. In the lakeside community of Hoover Beach in New York State, the waves of ice crashed into several residential properties, prompting authorities to issue a voluntary evacuation notice. Ice tsunamis, also known as ice shoves, among other names, are rare, but well-documented events. The event is most common in springtime, when ice that covers large bodies of water starts to thaw, but is not yet melted. If strong winds then blow through the area, they can push the ice towards the water's edge, and winds in the Lake Erie region were indeed quite powerful, reaching hurricane-like speeds of up to 74 miles per hour. But the inhospitable, and potentially dangerous weather conditions did not wholly dampen enthusiasm for the ice tsunamis. Thank you for watching my video until the last second, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to watch many more interesting videos. Now goodbye.